Good evening, everyone. Salam Sajatra. I am Sun Xueling. I am PAP's new candidate in Pasir Ris Pongo GRC. 大家晚上好,我是人民行动党的新候选人,孙雪玲,谢谢你. I have had the opportunity to meet with many of you and have heard some very kind sharings. I would like to use this opportunity to share some observations. I graduated with a degree in economics and after a stint at the Economic Development Board, joined the banking industry for 10 years before going overseas. Over this period of time, I worked in two Singaporean companies, an Australian company and a German company. When I was based in Hong Kong, I watched the Hong Kong property prices increase by about 75% over five years. Over the same period of time, London property prices increased by about 59%, Sydney's property prices increased by about 45%. How about Singapore? Singapore's property prices increased by 21%, while HDB's resale prices increased by 15%. Now, are global property prices due to the actions of the Singapore government? The Singapore government may be strong, but I think it is far-fetched to think that the Singapore government's actions have resulted in high property prices globally. Some analysts think that global asset inflation is mainly due to the repeated QE actions of the US, the loose monetary policies of the European Union and Japan, and the major countries have basically been printing money for the past six years. With low interest rates, global property prices were driven up. So when we see the rising cost of living, among other issues, we should realize that these are the challenges that the entire world is facing. We are not alone in the world. Not everything that happens in Singapore is due to the government. But the PAP government has taken steps to ameliorate the effects of rising costs. Higher, higher property taxes for higher end property, lower property taxes for flats, higher income taxes for the rich to help and redistribute to the needy. This is what a responsible government does, and this is what we call fairness. The road to economic prosperity and stability is a long and rugged one, especially when changes in the world economy is drastic and unprecedented. There needs to be a constant evolution of strategy, and it is this that enables Singapore to survive competition at every stage. Recently, during walks around the estate, I came across a young resident having dinner. He came up to me to wish me luck and shared with me enthusiastically that he had started an IT consultancy firm recently with his five friends and classmates. It was a leap of faith for him to start a company at a young age. But he wanted to try. He received some government grants, and he's now proud to say that he has secured some stable business contracts. I also came to know of a grassroots leader who started out doing um, subcontracting services for construction companies, but he had to close it down after the main contractors closed down and did not pay him for his company's services. He then started washing dishes, cutting fruits, and mending counters at a restaurant. He learned the tricks of the restaurant trade, and now he runs a successful food catering company. I asked him how he felt when he was washing dishes, and he told me that he was happy, at peace, because he had faith that tomorrow will be a better day. So as we stand on the next chapter of our economic growth, I hope that you can have faith. Faith in a party that believes in fairness. And faith in a party which has already pushed forward a more equitable distribution of resources. Faith in ourselves, that we have the abilities to learn, 
to create value and create a better future for ourselves and our children. As we speak around the world, faith is inspiring people to lift up one another and make peace where there is strife. This is your moment. We are a great nation and we are a great people. Please have faith that we can do the next leg better together. This is your moment. Please vote wisely and we hope that you can vote for the PAP. Thank you. I was brought up mostly by my grandmother and she brought me up in Hokkien. I've never spoken Hokkien publicly before in front of such a large crowd. I'm going to try tonight, so if I say something wrong, I hope that you'll forgive me. Wa Calling Si 顧了啊,我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我